Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a little bit more of a tricky Excel video, and I'm pretty excited for what I'm about to show you here. Today I'm gonna be showing how you can conditionally format a row based off duplicates of two cells that are adjacent or side by side. Now what I mean by this, so here we have a small set of data, right? And these are just, let's just say that these are sales from t-shirts that we sell. We sell small, medium, and large t-shirts in different colors, and the size depends on the price, right? So super simple. But let's say that we want to highlight, and now granted this could be a much larger set of data, let's say we wanna highlight, a, we wanna highlight all the rows that have the same size and color based off the last order. So for example, here we have a large and yellow shirt that we had sold. So essentially what we wanna do is we wanna highlight all the cells that match the size and color of the last sale, right? So in this case, it would be large yellow. So we wanna highlight all the rows, essentially these four columns in each row for all the large yellow shirts we had sold previously from this last entry. So just looking at the small set of data, we can see that there's so large yellow, we can find one here as well as a large yellow here. But since this right, since this one right here is a small yellow, we don't want it highlighted. We just want the size and color to match. So generally, you can do conditional formatting where you select the row, you can do a new rule, and that you can format only unique or, unique or duplicate values. Now that would be great if it were, if both of these were in one column. So let's go ahead and do that. We can do a quick, we're gonna need a quick helper column here. We can do a quick concat formula where we're gonna add this and we'll just add um, a little line in between here and then we'll do the color, right? And then we'll drag that down. And then here we have the size and color divided by a, a straight line in this column. So this would be a helper column. So essentially then what we could do is do a new rule and we could do all, we could highlight all unique or duplicate values. Um, let's just do duplicate values and we'll hit okay and we'll actually format it um, red in this case. We'll, we'll format the fill red in this case, all right? So we'll go ahead and apply that, and it's gonna highlight more than we wanted. So it's gonna highlight all duplicates. So small blue, small blue, large yellow, large yellow, medium orange, medium orange, right? And in this case, we just want the last sale to be highlighted, right? And we would like each row to be highlighted completely, not just column F. We want column D, E, C, and B. So essentially, we'd want all of these highlighted as well. So it's not gonna quite meet the requirements we wanted. So what we're gonna need to do is do another helper column here. Because essentially we will only wanna find duplicates based off the last sale. So whatever sale we enter, it's gonna highlight the duplicates previously, right? So this can be applied in a lot of different scenarios. It doesn't have to simply be for t-shirt sales, obviously. All right, so in the second helper column that we were creating, and actually we'll just go ahead and delete this, um, this conditional formatting rule we had set up. Uh, but in the second helper column, we're gonna do a more complicated formula. Well, first off, we're gonna do an if formula, but if it's blank, we also don't want it to be displayed. So we're gonna do a formula, so if F4 or this cell here equals blank, so is essentially nothing, we want it to return blank, right? And then if that's not true, we're gonna to wanna to do a nested if, followed by the logical test, which would be count if, and our range is gonna be F4 as well, and our criteria for this count if is gonna be a complicated lookup formula here. So we're gonna do lookup, so we're gonna do a lookup value here, and it, this might be a little complicated, but just keep in mind, so we're, we're working on the count if formula right now. So essentially what we want done here is we want it to count one, right? If the cell adjacent 
matches the lowest cell. So the range is going to be the cell we're searching. And then the criteria is going to then give us the last cell. So basically it's going to say if, if L yellow equals the last, the last sale input. What this formula is going to look like is the lookup value is going to be two. We're going to want to do one as our lookup vector divided by this entire column here, a less than greater sign of blank. And we're actually going to want to put this in parentheses here. Then we're going to do comma and a result vector will also be column FF. And then we can double close the parentheses, comma, and now we're continuing on with this if statement. If that's true, we want it to display duplicate. And if it's false, we want it to display unique. We'll go ahead and hit enter, drag that formula down. And so what this kind of nested if or more complicated formula is doing is it's basically just taking this bottom value, it's taking the bottom value in this column, which would be L yellow, and it's seeing if this, if that matches with this. If it matches, then it's going to say duplicate. If this cell does not match with that cell, then it's going to say unique. So in this case, large yellow, large yellow, large yellow are all three duplicates. Now hopefully you're sticking with me so far. We're getting to the conditional formatting part now. So essentially this formula is determining which cells need to be highlighted. So essentially what we can do so we're going to want to select the columns that we want formatted, all right? We don't care about F and G. These are our helper columns. We'll end up hiding those columns eventually. So we'll go ahead and hit a new rule for conditional formatting. We're going to want to use a formula to determine which cell to format. We're going to want to do equals G1 because that's the first cell in our helper column. So essentially, if that cell equals duplicate, we want E, D, C, and B to be formatted. So we'll do that, but we also want to get rid of that dollar sign so that it'll stay in column G, but can continue down the rows for the conditional formatting. So if that equals duplicate, then we want to format it red. We want the cell to be filled red. We'll hit OK. And that's going to conditionally format it in the, in the exact way that we want it. So now let's say that we have a new entry. Let's say, um, I guess this would technically be tomorrow, but let's say we have a sale tomorrow and we have a, let's say a small red shirt. So now once I hit enter, the conditional formatting is going to update because it's then going to be small red and then it'll highlight all the small red shirts, which should just be this row and this row. Since this is the latest entry, it will unhighlight the large yellow because it's not, it's no longer the most recent entry. So if we go ahead and see that, that's exactly what's going to happen. So now, you know, we could take these columns and hide them since they're kind of ugly. And then we just here we have our data and that'll just automatically update. So no matter what we do, depending on the size and color, it's going to be formatted. It's going to find and highlight all the matches throughout our data according to the most recent entry. So if we do another entry here and we do, you know, small blue, you know, a small blue shirt, then it's going to highlight those three because those are small. Those are three small blue shirts, right? So our conditional formatting is working well. So in order to conditionally format it in that way, we needed those two extra helper columns with, with one column that has a pretty easy formula, just combining these two together. And then this more complicated formula that you can use to determine if it's unique or a duplicate based off the most recent entry. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything at all from this video, please subscribe, smash the like button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.